We asked the former lead singer of Survivor, Dave Bickler, about his favorite Beatles moment. And if he had a chance, which Beatle would he work with? I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. When I was seven years old, just before my family left Montreal, I remember there was a neighbor that invited me over. He was around my age and he brought out this little record player. Remember, they were really small. They still sell them today as the resurgence of vinyl is here. And he put on a Beatles album. Now, I was too young to remember specifically what album it was, but, and it was 67. And of course, Sgt. Pepper came out that, that year. But all I remember from listening to it, it was very campfire-ish. And I think it was the I want to hold your hand era more than the Sgt. Pepper's era. It was one of the first things I wrote in my journal as a teenager. So it still was etched in my brain. And as you know, on this channel, I love hearing about special Beatles moments. We talk about JFK musical moments, and we'll talk about that again in future episodes of this series. But I asked Dave Bickler about his Beatles moment. But my Beatles moment? Yeah, yeah, 11, you know, 11. When I saw him in at Sullivan. Yeah, 11 years old. You know, what, you know what's cool about the Beatles, too? It, it was, they, they played their own instruments on their records. They wrote their own song. They, they didn't have, like, you know, before the, before the Beatles and that band unit thing, if you'd have an artist like Elvis Presley, who was fantastic, you know, he was just a fantastic artist. But he didn't write any of his own songs. They had songwriter teams that wrote stuff for him and uh, all, all of that stuff. I was really impressed by that. That was one of the things. And plus those chords, even those early songs, those, those vocal chords. Wow, man. <laughs> you know, I want to hold your hand. It's still like, it was so different, you know. And I had to ask Dave Bickler, if all the Beatles were here, of course, George and John are gone. But if they were all still alive, which one would he pick to work with? Uh, uh, Paul McCartney. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I would leap at that chance <laughs> if it were to come my way. Because I used to study him, too. I, I mean, I, he was one of the vocalists that I really tried to capture what he was doing. I mean, exactly. I mean, the guys in the band say, hey, you sound just like a Sam Cooke. It's great. It's true. I mean, and I, like I, when I talk to, like, you know, young people who they had asked me that question about singing lead vocals, you know, and I would, I tell them it's not, it's not just what you're singing. It's, it's in between. It's the stuff you don't do. It's, it is that timing. It's how you get two notes and how you get off notes that matter just as much as, as the note itself. You know, it's like all that stuff's really important. More from Dave Bickler coming up next Tuesday. Dark Light, I love this album is out now. Go to DaveBickler.com for more details. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.